Well, thank you all for coming out, especially on a cold Friday afternoon. We wanted to get this scheduled during January when you'd all be happy, but <laughs> Justice McGee Brown, I promise you, is going to warm your hearts just like she does mine every day. And I am not a warm-hearted person. I'm cold-blooded. Uh, but on behalf of the Board of Advisors to the Columbus Lawyer Chapter of the American Constitution Society and by proxy, also, both of which are fine organizations, postgraduate and while you're in law school, those of all, all of you desperate to get jobs, I encourage you to at least consider these organizations as well as the Women's Law Association. Um, well, I moved here from out of state. Um, and one of the things that was most surprising in a positive way about being here in this legal community is that these organizations really, really will invest in you as students and your future. Um, I can't say that about every bar group in town, but certainly for ACS, BALSA and its attorney equivalent, the John Mercer Langston Bar Association, the Women's Law Association here, Central Ohio Women's um, Attorneys Association, and the Ohio Women's Bar Association, all are very, very invested in the profession, which means we also invest in you. And we'd like to do anything we can to help you. We know how bad your problem is. Um, so, with that, that's my plug. Um, with all of that said, it is one of my greatest pleasures to introduce people like Justice Lee D. Brown. I usually get paid to lie, but I promise you, every bit of it. <laughs> And part of that is because I knew Justice McGee Brown before uh, she came to the court. Um, and that's really because of her great reputation here in town as well as nationally. Uh, ten years, Justice McGee Brown sat on the bench here in Franklin County, making history for probably one of the first times in her life. Um, the least history that we can talk about. And she did something that is uncommon in career paths, which is she left the bench because she saw a higher calling out there. And it was something not just noble, but critically important for society, which was to start the Child Advocacy Center at Nationwide Children's Hospital. Um, the way I initially got in interested in the law was when I first moved to Boston, coming out of law school at Ohio University, which Justice McGee Brown is also a distinguished alumni of. For those of you who went to Miami, sorry. You <laughs> did bad and you wasted your money. Uh, that was the first time that I saw, I know there are more Miami people in law school, I have to say that. Um, it's the first time I saw law really applied in a meaningful way to help people. And Justice 